Hey, what's up, everyone? It's episode six of the Fight IQ series. It's Mel 17, and this time we're gonna do some live commentary. So, you guys been suggesting for me to do some live commentary, and of course, the first guy I gotta go against is freaking Zon. So, uh, oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. My bad, bro. He knows it's me. <sighs> okay. Not exactly the, an ideal start for me. So, I'm a firm believer in matchups. And in this case, let's see, RDA has more power. RDA also has access to Muay Thai combos, so I gotta worry about that. I could box in, with Nick against him right now, but Zahn isn't the type of guy where you can just kind of blow through him. You see that? See that he has an instant reaction to me going to his body. I gotta be careful with that. Ah, I caught that. There's some players, like, I f every time I fought Zahn, it's, it's always, like, razor close. Like, I've won, like, the last six. Let me just try to mix that up there. I've won, like, the last six times we fought, but every time just gets closer and closer. Ideally, I look to work the body with some hooks when he's uh, throwing kicks and punching range. Because once that kicking animation is out there, I know he can't fire off an uppercut. Right. Little by little. And RDA Shin, I think, is like an 89 or 88. And I think I have 90 power with Nick, so nothing too crazy. He's keen. Yeah, he's keen. And, um, ah, you see that? He combos the freaking block counter with the uppercut. Oh, my fuck! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I didn't expect that. Oh. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. See, RDA has so, so many more weapons, man. So many more weapons. And he's so well-rounded, too. I love using RDA. Yeah, Zon's picking up on the... I'm, I'm waiting too much. I'm waiting too much. I gotta try to... <sighs> okay. The first mistake I, I made this first round is just... I'm kind of letting the feints dictate what I'm doing, and it's kind of hard to get a read on him. So every single time I'm trying to fire back, he's switching up. Under a minute and he's just back out. Nice. I just wish I had access to some kicks right now. I don't know if I go for a sidekick, he's going to try to he's gonna sidestep it. So it's almost like, unless I can catch him coming forward or jab, I'm not really going to be able to throw that sidekick. Uh, he sidestepped the body up because you smart bastard. Mm -hmm. This is fun. This is fun. Can't shoot, can't shoot a takedown. Alright, one side kick. No. <laughs> Stand up at the end of the round. Jesus, I got dropped that round. But you see, he has like an auto. This is what I mean by like somebody taking things from other players. And then adopted it into their own specific style. Like, yeah, everybody knows about the block counter uppercut, and but now he's comboing the block counter uppercut with a lead hook and an uppercut. Like, that is smart. That is extremely genius. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna try to time the head kick when I'm stepping in with the jab. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Pretty good jab there by Diaz. Sanjos's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. It's weird to hit my own stuff. I started with a mm -mm, no. The lead hook of uh, rear body uppercut and everybody does it. So when I get damn. When I start getting hit with it myself, I get a little bit petty. Not too much now. Nah, he's catching me. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm fucking up. <laughs> I'm fucking up big time, bro. Ah, oh, there it is. Mm-mm. I uh, work the side kicks in as he's moving his head. It's usually the best time to work the head. I mean, work the body. It's when they're swaying the head. If the body's vulnerable. And I usually preemptively sway right after uh, the uppercut. But this guy has a freaking game plan. Nice. Lunging straight. <clears throat> Look, I can't take your eyes now. Fucking Christ. 
So it was like he's throwing uppercut hook as the block counter. So if I sway, I'd have to go sway and duck. But I don't have that programmed in me yet. I haven't practiced that enough. So I think definitely after this fight, after seeing him have that in the back pocket against me, I'm going to have to practice that. Go slip, slip, duck, sway. Nice. See the adjustments he's making too, not only to like my offense, but he's making adjustments to my defense. So when he sees me fo primarily focused on one thing, he switches it up to something else. And that's that's beautiful. Like I love seeing other players adapt with their own and sticking to, to their guns with their own style. Like he's he just does a wonderful job selling the feint too. That's another thing. Like if I don't believe that you're going to threaten me with something. I'm, I'm not really going to care how many times you faint at me, but if I know you're a capable player and I have to be worried about what you're going to throw back at me, it changes so much with regards to to the fight. Right. I can get a little bit more comfortable with him. Side when I see him sidestepping, ah, oh, now he's on the knees. Good job. It's the right way to go about it. I got to stop throwing the body kicks. Ah, man. Nick is... Cock out when it comes to kicks, man. <laughs> it's not good, yo, with kicks. Zahn is somebody I, I love, have to kick against, but... I think I, something that people don't really realize about RDA... Yeah, he's got a... Yeah, he's blocking the same entire time. Smart man. Thank you. Respect, bro. Fuck, what was I saying? People don't realize RDAs, aside from his health... Like the chain, which is an 88, which is still pretty manageable. His ground game, his top game, completely nullifies Nick. He has good subs off the back, subs on top. Like, he's literally the, one of the most well-rounded dudes in uh, welterweight. He's a solid, solid A. And he has access to crazy good kicks. Fuck, he's conditioning me. Oh! Fuck, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. God damn it. See what he did there? He, he conditioned me with the jab straight, jab straight. And it's so simple. I'm thinking he's going to try to set me up with a hook. But I stepped back in the kicking range and he fired off the head kick. Good shit. Uh, okay. It's not good. That's two, that's two drops and none. My head off is getting low. My stand's getting low. I usually don't focus on that. Oh, man. Yeah, he switched up a lot. I'd say arguably already is like one of his best guys. And I, and I respect a good striker that doesn't need to use like somebody like Connor. Nice. Uh huh. Yeah, he knows my head is screwed. All right, he's down to the body. Ready. I mean, that's a fan of the... Oh! Did he do a slip hook lead up? He did. I should have pulled the trigger there. Double things. God damn it. <laughs> I can't even get mad, bro. I, can, I cannot get mad at that. That was clear. That was clear. Beautiful timing. Go catch me when I'm going to the body and kicking range, and then he timed off a front kick. So many small adjustments. Like, seriously. Oh, fuck. He went jab, jab, hook. No. <laughs> I'm going out on my shield, bro. Listen, if I'm going to go, I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if you guys know this, but when, every time you get rocked or dropped, you lose stamina. And my God, my stamina about to hit that DS mark, man. This ain't, this ain't good at all. Eh. I gotta give credit to Marshall. I don't know how he does this live commentary and stays completely. F Got him. Let's go. Fuck! <sighs> Why I go for the jab straight? Why I go for the jab straight? Uh, that was bo that was ballsy. I didn't expect him to go for that. I did not expect him to go for a sub straight. Uh, that's that's a mistake on my part. That that was ballsy on his part. Cause had had I gone jab hook, I would have. I uh, dropped him. Oh, well, I gotta focus. Alright. See, I killed the clock here. So. 
Damn. That's not good at all. He's capitalizing on mistakes. Big time. And I thought that was a good round for me, too. Damn. I got too overzealous. I got extremely overzealous there, rocking him. Way too overzealous. You're not supposed to for be forcing finishes like that. It's not good. Uh, at this point, knocking him out is out of the question. I got to maybe try to survive the decision. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. He's going to take his time. Oh, he's throwing the elbow to catch me slipping. Beautiful. Beautiful distance management. Uh, yeah. I've landed more strikes and it means absolutely nothing. It's quality of shots. No. Oh, man. Oh, to give it just... This stamina's looking solid too. Jab, jab. I remember that as long for next fight. Don't worry. This might be a day, bro. This just might be a day. Real. Nani? Oh, you. Ah, you got me, bro. Good shit. Good shit. Ah, oh, man. Lead hook uppercut when I went to the body. Ah, uh, man, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I, I I wish I knew it rocked him or something, but man, that was awesome for Zon, bro. That was that was that was great. That was great. That was a good win. You notice the key adjustments he made there. Every he's react not only reacting to my offense, but he's reacting to he was reacting to my defense. And now I gotta go from getting my ass knocked out to. Fighting's a beat, but I got my boy all though, so. I always expect spins when it comes to the beats. So. Right, I'm still in that haymaker. Uppercut, so that's. Oh, fuck! That's the thing I got that crazy knockout with on my channel. No, fuck you. Alright, so when he whiffs on a kick, he's gonna go to that spin, so. That means I got a lunge. Drive straight, get some pockets, more than me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get my timing better on that. Mm -hmm. Jab. No, 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 no. 99 takedown defenses, no. Mm -mm. Alright, got the sway. He's not gonna shoot. No! Whenever you see someone doing that uh, moving body kick and you guys are the same stance, you gotta plant. Plant hooks. Just plant hooks. Fuck, I meant to go for the tie crunch. It's not good for talking. Mm -mm. Spin. That can be sidestepped. You can launch to the rear leg side for that. Center the leg. Mix things up. Let me stay close. Ignore that switch kick. Nope. Mm. Alright. That's two times now I've been hit by that. I didn't get rocked because I canceled my strike halfway. But I got to lunge. I got to lunge next time. Mm -mm. Too close. I got to go with the knee next time. Mm -mm. I can't believe I just let that happen. Oh, gee. No, 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 no. Okay. He's getting tired. He's getting tired. Alright. Let's open up a little bit, a little bit more. Nah, you bugging, bro. How did he. I ain't gonna ask no questions. I ain't worried about this. I ain't worried about this at all. All right, nine. People have a specific pattern when they're on uh on top. They usually hit a certain amount of times. I swear I'm denying that, but let's focus on the task at hand. So they usually hit three or four times. That's usually when you can expect the fake. And there he went up again. Why would you do that? All right, let's focus on getting one up here. No. Aha. Oh, he's not gonna go. He's just trying to recover his stamina. All right. Good choice. I know Zabit's sub uh, defense isn't exactly the highest, so I could sub him with Aldo. 
The head deny. Oh, why don't you? Oh, he, oh, he's fucked. You see, when you see the hands go up, yeah, he's fucked. All right, whenever you guys are in half guard posture up, and you see the hands start to like fade like that, and they're not protecting themselves, that means you're about two, three strikes away from the TKO. All right, good bounce back, good bounce back, good bounce back from that fight. Oh man, that knockout was tough. Oh, but man, should bounce back. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. It's tough, man. <laughs> with Kevin, we're gonna start off with Kevin. You guys are asking for Kevin Lee, so I was gonna go with um, Bruce Lee, but I remember some dude in my comment section was asking me to use Kevin Lee. So Kevin, his reach kind of screws him in the pocket, but if you use him correctly, he's he's pretty damn good. He has a two gator. If you take somebody's back and you uh, go back flat, I think, and then it turns into like that two gate rear naked choker or whatever. He has really good subs. I just wish he had better kickboxing combos. Because when he fought Barboza, like, his kickboxing was so smooth. And against Al, his ego just had him boxing. I just, I was so disappointed to see him try to box the first few rounds. When, had he gotten into the wrestling earlier in the fight, like, I know he took his back relatively easy later in the rounds. But you're already sweaty. It's kind of hard to sink a lot of things in. And you're already somewhat tired. If you had gotten the Al a little bit quicker with the grappling and you stay a little bit more composed, I felt that. Lee would have got the victory that he should like he was more than capable of getting but he lost that one I think 48 47 or some shit Oh uh, man, but uh, his knockout with Gillespie crazy Crazy same way freaking of uh, Zahn rocked my ass. He just conditioned uh, Gillespie to uh, move, his, move his head and Off the was it the same side that he fired off that head kick? I think it was the same side he threw it straight and then immediately fired off a head kick off to the same side Not a lot of people expect that I think um Last fight, I think uh, that's fresh in my memory that did that to get a win was uh, Andre Philly. Was it Andre Philly? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Andre Philly. Oh, man. That was a first rough run. I, I, I don't. I get a little bit not. How do I explain? I always think about what I could do better so I can prevent losing. Like, and that, that was such a. Uh, I could have definitely won that. I just made a lot of mistakes. All right, let's focus here. South Paul. With the body, the body uppercuts work really well for Kevin because of them long, long arms. Ah, uh -huh. to the body. Oh, I don't want to box with too long. Oh, oh, you didn't go for the take. I pretty not to take that. Okay, okay, show me something, boy. Show me. Ah, right, bro, you bugging. All right. Oh, all right. He pre denied the fuck out of it. All right, and let's slow down. All right, when you see that flash, that means he's pre denied. So I'm gonna wait. A, I'm gonna wait a second. Yeah, there it is. If somebody's pre denied, you just gotta wait like half a second so you can go, and they can't do anything about it. Cause once they flick, there's like a cooldown period. Right. Hmm. Building up that grapple advantage. That's a momentum transition, by the way. When somebody goes up to full guard and go down, so you kind of have to creep them. Right, he's kicking. When I see somebody kicking and it's a uh, opposite stance, I usually start firing off the jab hook. I see if I want to clinch. There, yeah, you see that? How it's just open. It's laying on the open side. Ooh, nice boxing. Yeah, kick. Good old man. Jack hook again, just playing. Ah, there was still a little bit of yellow there, so he could TD counter. I ain't took me down. I bet. I bet. I got something for you. Right. <laughs> Why'd I do that? If there's no yellow on that bar and you get like a perfect takedown, they can't take down counter. Or sometimes it just doesn't pop up for them. All right, let's get this. I'm surprised he didn't block that. Loki tip: If you're trying to go for subs, if you Everybody has an expected window to where they ex expect to deny. Oh, you want to stack? All right. So you see the side. Oh, you're bugging. You're not going for the heel hook. The side that my hand was holding his head is the side that he's not supposed to punch you. And that's why I'm getting the sub. So if you want to find out if you get a sub from stack guard, hold L2. But the side that is holding his head when he goes before he goes up to stack is the side that 
is the side that you can suffer from. Oh wow, this is this is it. No, there's no way. Yeah, buddy. Ah, you want to grapple? You want to take me down? Oh, you want to take me down? I see you. Good, good though. Good though. That was a good little work around that uh, takedown counter stuff. I think if we get more chain wrestling for the next game you can, and like maybe remove that, just allow for more uh, fluidity with, with regards to the grappling, at least in the clinch, you know, I think uh, that would fix a lot of things because, man, I thought I had that takedown, but, you know, props to him for using the takedown counter. That was good. I was very smart, but managed to get that dip. Oh, man. The adjustments on the fly are something I, I feel I figure I'm pretty good at and I can analyze myself really well when it comes to like losing. So uh, <laughs> I guess this is uh reverse my fortune day. So first we got revenge for Kevin Lee and and then we go into an Ia Quinta of all people. And then now we're going against Connor, which isn't a surprise in lightweight. Now going with Donald Cerrone. I'm still really disappointed at Donald's performance. Not to say I didn't expect him to like lose early, but I, I definitely expect a little bit more out of him when he fought Connor. But in this game, Connor's uh, not like Connor. Cerrone's body health is. Oh wait, I fought this guy before. Okay. If you go jab, if you go jab faint body straight, I'm needing you. Nope, nope. Nah, we're not playing this game, bro. My body is tender. I right, see this very meta, Connor. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I fought this guy before. I think he might have caught me when I had, like, Hooker or something. Ah, uh, okay. Cerrone's, like, low-key very good at this game. Oh! What? Who throws that? With Connor. With Barboza, I expected, but nobody throws that with Connor. All right, he's, getting, he's turning up a little bit too much now. See, that he tried to go for an empty sway. Oh, it's a wrap. No, it's not. Of course. Your god level house stats. Alright. When somebody goes through that empty sway where like they're moving, if you immediately fire off a hook, you're pretty much guaranteed to rock them. You gotta be very careful leading with uh straight shots against those dudes. And the kickboxers, I like to follow up my uh slip counters with a body kick, so they're gonna step back in the kicking range. Alright, let's turn up with that little side thing. Got him with the rock, dropped them. Still alive. To the body, such in the kicking range. Goes Jaffe and body shape because it's a meta bump. All right. You know what? I'm not gonna focus on that side kick because I'm winning the fight. Get the pull counter, body rock, body kick, spin kick. Come on, yo, is he already gassed? I mean, yeah, I did body rock him just now, and he's kind of going crazy with the spins. Oh, he's rocked again. Oh, come on, get with the knee elbow. That's what I was saying. If somebody's doing something where they're timing it really well and you just foot can't for the life of you, uh, stop it. Just focus on something else. Uh, no, I think that street could have you know, rocked him. And I don't see he's making any adjustments to me hitting that hook on him when he was going for that moving slip. And that body kick every time he steps back into kicking range is working wonders on him. Oh, he's gassing on one. He went for the slip again. I hit him with the elbow. Hit him with the elbow. Let's go for the sub. Oh, he gave up. He's like, yeah, he's done. He's done. I hit him with an intercepting elbow. Intercepting elbow or hooks work really well against that. Uh, mo well, he's like slipping to the inside and then firing off a hook to the jab or straight that I'm throwing. So, round strikes is a counter for that. And if somebody's throwing something, like say that spinning sidekick, that's kind of, you know, giving you trouble, it's a good idea to relatively uh, crowd them so they don't have enough space to throw. Because what they need is space for that to land. Let's get a good amount. Let's see if I can get one more fight, man. This has been a long, rough night. <sighs> oh, I fought this guy before. It was Spartan Knight. I'm convinced this guy's a freaking alt, man. He's like, what, number one right now, right? He's number one? This guy freaking, uh, uh, yeah, they're driving takedown. I flicked! I flicked! Alright. Alright. This is not good. So when I had Saki on stream, he, uh, did that driving takedown and went straight for that, uh, double leg. And if you do. Oh, this is bad. This is not good. This is not good. Fuck. Alright. Alright. Try, I'm gonna try to. Oh no, now he got me crucifix. This bitch got crucifix? Alright. 
I gotta, hold on. I gotta focus. Before I can even say anything about what he did there, I gotta focus here and get him the fuck out. Oh my Jesus. So you wanna win, bro? I accept it. But I'm not gonna let it happen easy. Nah, we can't. Nah, we don't catch this. Nah, this shit got subs. I can't go over right now. She has subs. Alright, so I don't know if it's a glitch or something. But basically, what people do, I don't actually know, it's not a glitch, it's a lack of knowledge. So, what I realized is that when you go for the double leg against the cage, you're not really supposed to flick to deny it. It's actually more so like lightly going down with the R2. You're bugging, bro. You can hit all those fakes you want, but you're bugging. You're not going to get that. I guess I won't get that either. So, instead of flicking with R2 and down, you're actually not going to deny that double leg takedown. I don't know why the flicking is too fast. But if you, like, lightly do it, it'll stop most of the feints. Jesus, no, you're not going to sub me. God damn, man. Yeah, this is a guy is an all. Oh, this is for sure. Oh, he's faking that? No. Spartan Knight. Did he mean to put 12 and he just put the woman and wheels in the wrong order? That's on the top now. It's not a good start. Alright. I gotta take this guy seriously. Like, really seriously. Like, Zon level seriously. Who the fuck could this guy be? Spartan Knight. Nah. Yeah, I usually don't arm trap this well, but uh, he's trying to drain my stamina too. She's in full mount again. It's not a glitch, apparently. I asked Jeff about that. He, uh, Jeff Howard. He said, nah, it's intended. Don't know why. Yeah, so he's pre denied sprawl, so he didn't get down. Fake. Nah, I denied that. So usually when somebody fakes one way, they go on the other. Alright, now he's denied half guard. No, oh my god. Jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna forget about sprawl, because he's, he's either pre denied that, or this man has, like, an Advaita level monitor, because this is, this is nuts. It's not good. And Michelle's grappling is. Okay, but being on my back is not where I want to be with Michelle Watterson. I want to create space. I want to be on my feet. I don't even know how this guy fights on the feet yet. I gotta try to figure this out. I, I gotta figure out who this guy is. That's one thing. And at the same time, I gotta figure out how he fights. Because I can't just assume this guy is gonna follow specific meta strikes and I can counter him. Easy on the first go because if he's, he's an all and this guy's number one on ranked championships and his records looks freaking good That means he's good. That means like he's actually genuinely good All right, let's see what happens here right. Yeah, Michelle doesn't have much power Okay, okay. He has that kind of like that In and out and he gets in the pocket. He's gonna try to trap Try to trap straight all right, got him with the rock. Damn, she doesn't have that freaking uh, boxing combo. A lot of people that have that double body hook uh, up top combo. Michelle Watterson does not have it. She also doesn't have jab uppercut hook, I think. All right. The straight has stopping power when somebody's moving in. No, it has still stopping power usually in all cases, but it will always have stopping power against somebody moving forward. Mainly holding that high block, so see if we can. Mm. I'm expecting him to slip soon. No, he's actually not. His health stats are pretty good. Lead hook, straight lead up a cut. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, that's different. Mm. Subtle sidestep to the left, or he's just moving. You can. You don't even have to sidestep most of the time for these side kicks. You can just move to the rear leg side and just keep moving laterally. And based on your footwear, you kind of just step away. Mm, good head kick. Yeah. And I can't even stay in the pocket too long with uh, Andrade because she's so powerful. She's trying to slip her uppercut. Oh, and you're going to hit me with my own thing? Yeah, this is definitely an out. Lead hug. Rear body uppercut. Man, I didn't get your own. Oh, my God. Jab, jab, straight. No, we kneel here. He's not gonna shoot. I always pre deny after like a big action like that. I'm always gonna pre deny that. I'm not trying to get speared, especially not by this freaking dude. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. 
The jab to the body. Followed up with the real hook to the head. It's working wonders. His body hooks are working. But it seems to me his main focus is working the head. He's really just focused on working the head. Like the body shots are just really meant to distract me. And when I fire back, he's trying to bl uh, blitz me with a three and four hit combination. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, Jeff and body straight. You lucky I ain't got no knees, bro. I need the fuck out you if you do that shit. I'm kind of scared to sidekick. So. Yeah, he's trying to get that chip damage. Little by little. Uh, he's, he's just moving laterally. Fuck. I gotta kill that habit. No! Oh my god! I thought I pulled that! Fuck. Bro, I, uh, I dead ass. I knew that was coming. Ah, uh, I fired back too soon. Damn, they got these these kicks and punching range. Got to go, man. These head kicks and punching range. I fired back too soon though, so I got shit though. Yeah, stab this Gucci. I expect it to be. Damn, man, I'm doing good. What did he rock me with? He rocked me with a straight to the body. No. Body straight. And then he went up with the lead hook to the head. And my short term stamina was low. I gotta try ducking when he go Yeah, that's what he's nailing me with. And he's on my open side. Okay. Any slip counter is gonna put me out. Damn, man. It's not good. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. Okay. Can we show you the total strikes? Landing more strikes, but like the zone fight means absolutely nothing. Landing means nothing. It's about damage. You can land. My ego wants me to stand. I could have shot a little single there. Yeah, key thing. Don't <laughs> let your ego get the better of you if there's an avenue to victory. But in my case, this I'm outgunned here. I can adjust. I can adjust. Alright, so he, he caught on to that. This is where I, like, things like the Zon, oh, he clinched me. Things like the Zon fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and, he, and he's good in the clinch, too. Wait a second. Wait a second. Alright, we're out. No. The real transition is always going to be the one that's uh, taking the longest to finish. No. Go got the rock. Alright. Right I treat this guy like a wounded animal. There's the head kick. Oh, very nice. Big lead hook, straight lead hook. That's the combo I decided to knock that water with after he hit that jab. It's back to orthodox. And he's taking advantage of that uh block break bug. So when the block gets overcommitted, your head gets kind of frozen. You see some close to the cage. That's why. That's why he's going for it. All right, man. Yeah, this guy. This guy would do everything he can to win. Oh my life! Fuck him, guys. Yeah, this guy. He. He don't care about planes and no strength. He don't care about nothing. He's God. If there was a guide to how to win at UFC three. This guy took his time and freaking win it. From a completely uh, gaming perspective, he's definitely taking that in. All right, it's looking like he's gassed too. With the body, I got the I got the rock, so I mean, try not to make any mistakes. I know he went. I got a drill. I got a drill. Uh, a counter for that uh, body straight lead hook. See, there's something I can do against it. Oh, what? That's how you feel, dog? Alright, alright, that's how you feel? That's how you feel? Alright, alright. I know I won that round. I know I won that round. You may have got the first two rounds, but it ain't about how you, it ain't about how you start, about how you finish. Damn if I lose twice to it. Live commentary. I'll be damned if I lose twice. Uh uh, no, 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 no. Nah, bro. Nah. Uh uh. You thought. 
Nah, you thought, dog. You thought. Nah, son. Maybe hindsight should have done that. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to get on top. Alright. Fuck, oh, that's not good. Alright, let's see if we get this up. Alright. I got to the third gate. Oh, my God. Damn, I, I flicked the left. I flicked the left stick. All right, he's out. He's out. He's out. All right, head off. His, his head off is hurting right now, bro. His head off is hurting. Guillotines, arm triangles, any head choke takes off so much from, like, head health. I couldn't do that. All right. See, anytime he's just touching my thigh, if it's just a slight touch of the thigh, I know that's a fake. If it stays on for any longer than a second, I know it's the real transition. Uh -uh. I'll control you on top here. That's what I'll do. I know I just won the round with that guillotine. I gotta try to move though, so they don't stand me up. They let him get that. Why I go to the right? Usually when people go for that full guard bump, they go to the other side, but he did the smart thing and got backside. Great. And there's two minutes left, so this is not good. All right. I, I can't let him rack up any crazy damage. I'm going to wait. Keep waiting. No, he, he's going to block that full guard. Oh, my gosh. He has a bulldog choke. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, I see. I got to go for the desperate. As for measures, no, you gotta be kidding me. Well, well, no, we're not. I thought she had a leg tie. Oh my god, are you serious? He fucked up. Oh no, he could finish me here though. My head off is low as hell. No, 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 I just gotta keep moving. I just gotta survive 40 seconds. Oh my god. I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Yeah, I'm trapped, yeah, I'm trapped. If I just keep moving. Oh my god, I got 20 seconds. He's gonna finish me in two. No, no, oh. Yes, we got the arm trap. Holy shit. No, I'm not getting up, bro. Nah, my head off is hurting. Fuck! I don't know what to, which show sub did more damage, mine or his, because I had a... Damn. I gotta finish him. I gotta finish him. I gotta finish him. Nah. Let's go. Yeah. I know how the meta man works. I know how the meta works, bro. I know how to, you're going to expect that duck, right? You're going to try like that duck counter. All right. Now he's pulling. Gotta wait a second. Fuck. He just got third out there. There's nothing to lose. Fuck. My block is low. No. 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 I feel him breaking. I feel him breaking. I feel him breaking. I'm just lucky. Can't go to your fucking head after that combo. Jab, jab, of course. Beautiful timing. Open up the body. I know my body's good. I can take a body shot. I just gotta focus on my head. Just focus on my head. If he pulls, I can go for the axe kick. Block the head. Just block the head. Block the head. Block the head. Your body does not matter. Your body does not matter. Doesn't matter. You can take it. You can take it. Your body health is fine. This could be ideally a 10 8. Make a sweet thing to my favor. Move your fucking head, dude. Be a hook. I caught him at the end. Of course he lands a fucking kick. Alright. No, no, I got something for you. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling, bro. Damn. Let's go! Ha! <sighs> Jeez.
Jesus! God damn! Alright. When somebody's pulling and looking to pull, there's usually two sh three strikes that work. Head kick can work if you're going forward after you set up a jab like he landed on me. The axe kick will go back and smack him on top of his skull. And then there's the jab spin kick that I just got. Oh my god! I'll give you credit, bro. I, I gotta figure out who you are, but you're number one on ranked, but uh, mm. I just beat you with a B plus two person, sir. Man, all right, fellas. Bro, seventeen fight IQ up series episode six. Man, you gotta drop a like. You gotta share that. You gotta throw that fight back and watch it over, man. That. That's it. We just got a big win here. It's like commentary shit. Hard. I don't know if I want to do it for the next time, but no. <laughs> that, that, that took a lot of me. Yo, that's crazy. Man, seventeen. Thank you for tuning in. I'm out of here.